I can't believe I didn't know these three things about Perfect Day at Coco Cay, and we've been cruising Royal Caribbean for 10 years. Also, what it's like traveling with young kids and exactly how much we spent. Let's get into it. The first thing that I didn't realize is that there's actually a map in the app, which I didn't even learn until getting back on the ship today. Now, there's a map as soon as you get off, and I did some research, but there's actually a map in the app. So you can literally just be in here and click explore. I've got a screen recording. Um, you just click explore and there's a map right there. So click map, and then you can see exactly where you wanna go. Not to mention, everyone crowds around that map as soon as they get off the pier. So everyone's trying to figure out where to go. And had we known sooner, we would have definitely used the app a lot more than trying to do the same thing that everyone else was doing. So once when you have your plan, make sure you look at the map. And of course, with the map, you're gonna be able to find a beach stroller, which I had no idea. Now our kids are too old for a beach stroller, but there's actually beach strollers. And when you see these little baby strollers on the sand, they're stuck. Or the little motorized go-go, they're stuck. There's even beach wheel wheelchairs, which we knew about, we haven't had to use, but the beach uh, wheelchairs and the beach baby strollers are in the same spot, which, if you know where they're at, you can find it on the map as well. And we did see a number of like parents having to pick up the kid plus the stroller to get through different sand areas. They do have walking paths, but sometimes it's just quicker to cut through some of the sandy patches and it doesn't look fun. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, a lot of kids, bring, or a lot of people bring strollers and your mileage might vary. Like on the ship, for instance, the elevators sometimes get so busy, we literally saw dads carrying the strollers and mama carrying the baby. So how much did that stroller help? You tell me. The third thing I didn't realize is that we were actually the last day in the last ship that's offering tram service from the pier up to the tram service uh, point where it takes you around the island. So. Octo As of October 1st, Royal Caribbean is no longer offering tram service from the middle of the pier. So if you are mobily challenged, you're gonna wanna get off at the forward gangway and then there'll be tram service at the end of the pier that then brings you to the part where you can use tram service around the island, which runs every 15 minutes. And I'm gonna say it's probably a really good decision. It does congest things pretty poorly um, just on the pier itself and you kind of have to be pushed to one side for the tram to come in and out and people Don't listen and they're just walking right in front of it. So it runs incredibly slow anyway So it's probably a good decision and the trams do take you everywhere you want to go on the island um, Especially if you're super tired or if you have mobility challenges Or if you have little kids who are just too tuckered out you can do that around the island It's simply from the pier point to the island and something that we already knew was that your drink package and your internet package does work on, on the island. So if you have the drink package or the internet package, you go ahead and take advantage of it. Now let's talk a little bit about the internet. I have T-Mobile and our experience, it works really great. And in this particular case, the internet on the island was, in my opinion, very subpar. It actually was faster using just my T-Mobile service. Um, so just bear that in mind, it's, it's good but it's not gonna be great. One other thing that we knew that we've never actually taken advantage of is that you can get your towels on Perfect Day at Coco Cay. So this time we actually didn't bring or check out any towels while we're on the ship. We waited until we were on the island and we just simply went to the towel station right there near the cove, which we'll talk about shortly, and got our towels there. Now, since there was two ships in port, they had a line for Freedom of the Seas and a line for the other ship, Wonder of the Seas. So you just go check out your towels there and you can either return them there at the end or you can do like we did and use it as we board. Now listen to this important announcement. Come yeah, on. Up. Morning, everybody. Back to here while we are picking up the pilot. Now Ms. Tip's gonna tell you some more stuff about the towel station. So because it is a rural Caribbean island, you don't have to stress over, oh, I have to return it on the island because I got it off the island. We actually returned to ours right as soon as we got back on the ship. They had the, the big caddy right there for you to return them. No problem, they sort out how many towels go where. You don't have to worry about it. Even if you had to keep them and take them to the pool deck, you still can. You don't have to return them on the island just because you got them on the island. And if you've learned anything so far, make sure you hit that like button right now. And of course, don't forget to share because you don't have to remember all these things. Just share it with a friend. Now, as a family traveling with kids, we had a game plan. 
and we'll tell you how much it costs too at the end. Now, what do we do, Mrs. Tips? So to start off, we do have a six-year-old and a four-year-old, so pretty small and not really big on the huge slides that does cost money. So we take them straight to Splash Away Bay. There are tons of slides and splash pads and places to swim. Don't have to worry about them. They're right there. It's not a humongous area, so you don't have to worry about them getting out of your sight and things like that. And they have an absolute blast on the slides. Yes, the slide area in Splashway Bay was a lot of fun. Now, you have to be 48 inches tall for the slide, and actually, it's less than that because our four-year-old was able to go. So, I think it's 36 inches tall, actually, uh, to be able to go on the slides that's near Splashway Bay. Now, we told our kids we we're only going to spend about an hour there because we had a few adults that want to do some adult things, too. So, we went ahead and went to the Cove, which is the beach area. Harbor Beach, yes. Yeah, so we Harbor went to beach. Harbor Beach because the parents, us, wanted to have some beach time. And what was so nice about Harbor Beach? It was actually really calm and quiet. You don't have like the ginormous waves like you would at like a normal ocean, so you don't have to worry about the kids getting knocked over and things like that. And despite there being two ships, it never at any point felt Oh my goodness crowded it was everyone was spread out and there was so much space you didn't have to worry about bumping into somebody there was plenty of chairs and umbrellas for free so you can get some shade and put your things down and go and enjoy the water and it was very nice very very nice yeah free i like that and it was just a hop skip and a jump from the splash away bay as well as where we had lunch which was skipper's grill and had a great buffet now if your dad getting your four and six year old food you're gonna get a what hot dog, a cheeseburger, pretty much every time. Mrs. Tips wants them to try some other food, so we let her get the plate. And would you end up getting them? So they don't just have hamburgers, hot dogs, and french fries, which there's nothing wrong with that, but for every single meal, it's kind of not good. So they also had a ton bunch of fruit. They had a taco station where you could build your own tacos, so I ended up making them like some burrito bowls. So they got some good beans and chicken for protein and things like that. They have all the salsa, sour cream cheese you can ever want, so don't worry about that. And they have chips. And they had these great little paninis and like hot, hot little sandwiches pre-made you just grab and go. It was really great, and the kids really enjoyed it a lot. And the nice thing about setting up your shop right there uh, near Skipper's Grill is you got all your free drinks right there. So even though if they're not open, they got the drink station open, so you can get like your mango, your kiwi, strawberry, um, and they even had the bar right there if you have the drink package or want to drink there. So that's all right there as well. So as long as you bring your own reusable water container like my Big Blue that's sitting over there, you are good to go and you don't have to spend any money on that. And just like the pool deck, they do have the ice cream machines so you can still get your fix with your ice cream cone. And after lunch, we did tell the kids that we are going to do something else that the adults wanted to do which was Experience the Pooh, Oasis Lagoon, which is right there. So you've got all three of those items, the Splashaway Bay, the Harbor Cove, the Skipper's Grill, and the Oasis Lagoon right there. So the, in case you didn't know, Oasis Lagoon is the largest freshwater pool in the Caribbean, and it's massive. They got life jackets there as well. They got in lounger water chairs, and they even have a spot where you can actually walk in. So it only becomes three feet at its deepest. Uh, so my 49 inch daughter can stand on her tippy toes in the deepest part. And there's actually lots of shade in the pool as well. They have lots of plant life um, on like little peninsulas, I guess, in the water. So you can kind of swim up and sit down. There's a little seat and you can be shaded if you're getting too hot or just want a little break from the sun. But again, there's plenty of space. You're not bumping into people. You're not, you know, having to fight for a swim area. There's plenty of room to move around, which is another nice perk. And the kids kind of tolerated us being in there, but I think they had some fun too. Just because they could stand, they enjoyed it. And it wasn't, you know, we're, we're having to hold them up all the time or things like that. Now we are there, uh, our ship was there until about 4.30 p.m. We could spend literally all day. Now when you get a couple kids and they need their nap time because they're going to kids club at night because they love it, we only lasted about three hours, a little bit more. But if you want to learn even more about detailed information about Perfect Day Coke, okay, make sure you watch this 
playlist all about Perfect Day Coco K. This is Brian. And Mrs. Tips. Tips for cruisers.